Hi guys, my name is Daryl, and today I want to show you a unique exercise from my book, Convinced. It's called the scapular retraction. It's just one of 235 exercises that I've illustrated in my book, and it's a great exercise for developing the latissimus dorsi. It creates sort of this heart-shaped look to the, to the physique and the torso, so that when you're looking at the person front on, you can actually see like they almost have wings because the, the, the development of the lats goes kind of from the, underneath the arm and down into the abdominal. So it creates this, like, this illusion like this person's carrying a, you know, a set of wings on their back. It's pretty cool and uh, the best version I've ever seen of this was on um, Lou Denji, AKA Mark Forrest. He's a, a Hollywood actor and bodybuilder back in I think in the 40s and 50s. Um, he had phenomenal development of his back and um, it was so impressive that Larry Scott um, wanted to emulate him in terms of, of that, to create that V taper. And so um, Lou Denji taught Larry Scott how to do this particular exercise. And so now I'd like to show you this exercise. It's a great exercise. And again, it takes a little practice, but once you get it, you can really kind of see how those lats kind of pop out. So here it is, the scapula retraction. Okay, so now I'd like to demonstrate the scapular rotation. And the idea is that you wanna get a bar that's pretty high up so your, your feet don't touch the ground. And then reach up. Just a little bit past shoulder width on the grip. You wanna get down. And then, so you wanna control the scapulas here by retracting and then you protract them in. So you're kind of catching the contraction. And so the key there is when you're up, you're, you're getting the scapulas, you're retracting the scapulas, pulling them back, and then you're pulling down and then kind of scooping up, down and up. Going back, and you're scooping down, so the lats are grabbing hold, so you're really working on the scapula control as you go down, and then you contract, and you, you go down and up into the, into the movement. So, you're down here, and then you contract. And you're pulling, and you're pulling down, going into like this scooping position, going down, and then dropping the elbows, and then scooping, so you're, sort of catching it down the low part of the scapula. So you're getting the lats, you're also getting the serratus anterior a little bit, and then you're coming in, but it really gets that part of the lat, that low part, that kind of creates that heart shape to the lats. So when you look at it from the front, you know, it looks like this sort of this heart shape, and it's really, uh, it's really pretty cool to, to develop. And it kind of sets you apart from other guys. Um, so when you're on stage and the judges are looking at you, you know, they'll, they'll notice that sort of they draws right into that, that midsection. They, you know, they look right into the abdominals and then you see those sort of the wings and the, the chest and everything kind of ties into that whole area. Um, so if you get up there and you don't have good development of the lats, <laughs> you're, you're like this and your, your lats aren't being seen. But when you're like this, you know, it's like this, the V taper really shows from the front side. And you can really see that dramatic heart shape from the lats. So guys, this is a great exercise. I encourage that you do it at the end of your, of your back exercise program. Um, you want to do this so that you want the back to be fatigued. And then when you do this at the, at the very end, you know, do about two or three sets between three to six reps. And you'll, you'll really get a, a phenomenal uh, stretch, but also a great pump to the back. And it's just a great way to kind of finish off the workout, but it really, again, creates that dramatic V taper 
um, that heart shape look to the physique. So give it a try. And uh, if you have any questions, you can email me. You can find my email on my website at www.darylconnor.com. I want to thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.